guys welcome to my kitchen do you ever wonder sometimes you open your fridge you want to do something like you want to have a toast but you look in the fridge there's no butter guess what I have a solution for you guys as long you have heavy cream you have butter so I'm going to make butter for you guys you can use the butter to do mac and cheese you can put it on chicken you can use butter for anything who doesn't like butter everybody loves butter not only i'm making butter for you i will teach you guys how to make compound butter so let's start with the butter so this is one quart of heavy cream so the only thing about the heavy cream you gotta let it be not too hot okay so you pour the heavy cream In the mixer now we're gonna use the mixer okay we're gonna start with low because if you start with the high speed all the milk is gonna split on you it's gonna it's going to spill you do it little by little. Alright guys, uh, it takes like 10 to 15 minutes for the butter to, for the heavy cream to turn into butter. But I want you guys to see how the butter is separate from the buttermilk. Look at it. You could see this is the butter right here and this is the buttermilk and we still have some butter here you see this is real butter you see now we're gonna use ice water to clean it now we're gonna take off the this to get the butter out we're gonna put it into ice water okay tip of the butter see that's the real butter okay take everything get all the butter together You want to put more water you put more water but that's enough okay this is the wheel butter you see now we're going to turn the butter into a compound butter we're gonna use some of it we're gonna make a half regular butter half compound butter okay so let's leave this one in the ice water so we're gonna do this one let's put it in this now let me clean my hands okay we're going to use the butter to make compound butter okay first i'm going to do the the garlic we're gonna use garlic i'm gonna use one tablespoon of garlic Okay, one tablespoon of garlic and put it in the mother pesto. Okay. I'm using some of the parsley. Okay. I'm using some of the parsley. You could say one tablespoon of parsley. Using one tablespoon of basil, all right. We put in quarter teaspoon of salt, 
quarter teaspoon of pepper. We're making compound butter now. Okay? Now we're using the butter pesto. to use it to mix it with the butter and that makes it you call that compound butter you put in one tablespoon see one tablespoon mix it now you mix it together you can use that to put it on fish on chicken soup anything that you desire you can use the compound butter okay you mix it now we're gonna transfer it to a piece of parchment paper so we could give it any shape that we want all right i'm gonna put it on parchment paper Guys, this is the butter. Okay. And then, you can do any shape that you want. You do the butter like this then you put it in the freezer but you know I'm going to taste it I have brioche bread I'm going to toast it and taste it to let you guys know exactly how the compound butter tastes while we're waiting on the toast now I'm going to do the regular butter this is the regular butter now I'm going to get a piece of parchment Since I love a little bit of salt, the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of salt in the regular one. Okay? Put a pinch of salt. It depends if you like a lot of salt, but do not make it over salty. You could use anything that you want. I use my hand. You could use a spoon. I believe your hand is the favorite tools that you can use. Okay, now we're gonna put it on a parchment to make it give it any shape that you want. I believe this is the best butter you could you could get. The thing about uh, heavy cream, you use the heavy cream to make butter. You use the heavy cream to make whipped cream. You use the heavy cream to make buttermilk. So you see, you could make a lot of things with it. Okay. Now this is the regular butter. Like I said, you could use any shape that you want. Okay. Now guys, let me show you the buttermilk. This is the buttermilk. You see? That's the buttermilk. All you gotta do is strain it. Take off the little butter from it. Pour it in your bottle and then leave it in the fridge for overnight or maybe for 30 to 40 minutes or 20 minutes it will get thicker okay that's the buttermilk and now we're gonna taste the regular butter this is the regular butter look beautiful that's the regular butter right here that's the regular butter and this is the compound butter you see that's the compound butter those are both butter so now we're gonna try the butter with the toast okay guys we're gonna try it with the toast I have some brioche bread okay 
let's start the let, let, let's just take um, some of the compound butter okay I believe this is the best butter Now let's try the regular butter. Mm -mm -mm. Not only has no chemical, it's very fresh and don't take too long. So guys, what are you ready to do it? Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. mm. very tasty and now guys this is the buttermilk so I'm pouring the buttermilk here so you guys can see it you see that's the buttermilk you can use it to do baking you can drink it you can do anything that you want with the buttermilk so Enjoy the butter.